BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Today, we are going to discuss vaccines on the woke cast. Uh, this is something that I think is very important and we need to get a uh, higher education on whether you're for or you're against vaccines. I think it's always best to have all the information that is possible that we can have. Today with me, Jack Frost, we have Corey King and we have Vicki Parker sitting in with us. How are you doing today, young lady? Hello, how are you? How's everybody? Uh, we, we're great, absolutely fantastic. Not as fantastic as you. <laughs> okay, so quick question, real quick, so we could just hit it off right out the park. Are you for or against vaccines? For. Why? Because it's necessary. It's necessary. It's 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 a it's a global thing. It's we have to protect our kids and our community against these diseases that were at some point no longer in existence. And because of vaccines, that's why. Quick question. If a disease isn't in existence anymore and then all of a sudden it pops up again doesn't that seem a little bit suspicious hey. so, Corey, no because vaccines are 98 percent effective not 100 percent effective mm. so the disease is still lingering out there actually the measles mm -hmm. is airborne mm. So Wasn't there an epidemic recently? You heard yeah, about that? Yeah, yeah, break Because out. people stopped but, vaccinating. But let me ask you this question right here, right? This is a little tiny question, right? This is a touchy situation for me, but I'm going to argue with you today. Um, isn't it true, it's, under, it's to my knowledge, that you're actually putting the actual germ in your body when you get vaccinated? The virus. Yes, yeah. a very, 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 very small part. Just enough so that your body's antibodies cut could 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 detect it and build an army against it. That way, when the disease re reintroduces itself to your body, your antibodies recognizes it and is able to fight it off. So you're not going to actually ever get the disease because of the vaccine. Hmm. And you're saying this is 98 percent accurate. 98 percent effective. Okay. So allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so um, just quick question. So um. Why would somebody be anti this thing that is so helpful and it, it just absolutely uh, protects our children and, and ourselves from the virus? Why would somebody be anti this? Well, some people are anti it because they, they'll just, they just don't want to follow what somebody says. They believe it's just their belief and they're going to do what they want to do with their kids. It has really nothing to do with the vaccine itself. They just want to be liberated and the government not telling them what they're able to do with their families. That's one reason. The second reason is the myth and the conspiracy theories that's out there, like Dr. Wakefield put out there about the MMR vaccine causing autism, which is totally false. Hmm. So you're saying that people are under the, the, the misbelief, uh, they're being ill-informed, that this method that's been used for, how long has vaccinations been out there, 50 years? 50 years. So this method that has been used for 50 years to prevent and to, to, to uh, prevent like things like polio. Which happened in the 40s and the 50s. When the polio vaccine first came out, polio was completely annihilated. You had a president with polio. Mm-hmm. And we had also smallpox from Benjamin Franklin. His son died of smallpox in hmm. 1736 because he didn't vaccinate. Wait, hold because on. Because he went against it. Wait, yeah, hold they on. went. They have vaccinations back then? inoculation for smallpox, yes. Hmm. Back then, yes. Okay, okay. That's that's kind of dope, I guess. But anyway, so that's kind of dope. Like, they mm -hmm. really had, like, doctors running around with little... Yeah. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> I did not know this. This is, like, absolutely no news to me. I did not know that they had vaccinations no, back then. No, not vaccinations. That. that okay, because that, that was something that was really Smallpox, deadly. yes. All right, all right. No jokes about that, though. Um, so... 50 last 50 years they've been having vaccinations for things like the measles things like polio mm -hmm. um i'm assuming that there was vaccinations i'm, I'm assuming when you take the shot it's like eight or nine different because i remember getting the shot when i was a little kid to this day that shit was terrifying they had like a needle that was about like that and then had like a lot of little needles in it out on there shooting Dang. you all at the same time yeah. like what's up with that they can't do it one at a time they do it one at a time now 
with <laughs> science, everything has, has modernized. They do it one at a time now. You can choose. You can actually choose to just take one vaccine at a time to see how your child reacts to it. It's, it's up to you. But I just think that every child should be vaccinated. Okay, so you just uh, mentioned a second ago that people are under the false belief that autism can be caused by vaccinations. Why do people have this belief? It, there has to have been something that has happened that would lead people to believe that this could be something that could trigger it, Because right? it was brought up by Dr. Wakefield, who had his ulterior motive because he had his own vaccine to put out, his own little MMR so-called vaccine to put out. He was going to profit off of it, so he had to pull out the false sense that MMR causes autism. The reason why he was able to do that is because autism symptoms occur about the same time as you would be able to get your vaccine, your MMR vaccine, which is at a year old. Oh, so That's when the symptoms of autism start to present itself. So, so he was able to use the MMR vaccine as something that was causing autism, and people believed him. So he was trying to say there was a correlation between getting a vaccination and also autism being acquired by the child. Mm -hmm. eh. That, that sounds like, so he's trying to say that, um, so which one is he trying to be? He's trying to be Tesla or he's trying to be Edison? <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to be. I know he was disbarred. He was, took his license, they got his license taken away from him, and he no longer practices medicine. And he's appealing it. This was in the 90s, the early 90s. Mm, okay, so, all right. So um, some more myths that go along with vaccinations that, that you believe are not accurate, obviously, because you know you're pro. So some more myths besides the whole autism thing. Let's go with Corey's myth. Tell them your myth. My myth is, being honest with you, I believe some of the vaccines are actually trackers. I believe they put it, put it in our system or whatever, and they can tell where we're at all, 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 all over the planet Earth. Honestly, you think so? Yeah, I, I really believe so. Like, let me tell you something. You ever been sitting in front of your TV and the TV is off, and you just see a little speck in your TV and it just go away? Mm. And it's happened so fast, you're like, in my mind, I'm bugging out. But then you see it again. I just believe what do you that. Think about? I don't know, but do you? What, are you talking about two TVs? Because that could just be it shutting off. No. Nah. <laughs> That's, those TVs are old. We talk okay. about the new TVs. Okay. Never been watching that on your TV or just. Huh. Okay, I'm not saying I agree with what you're saying because yeah, I think I that's something believe. else. No, but I, say, I think I you might have a point yeah. about us being actually monitored. Yeah. <laughs> that, he but might have a point on that. Do vaccines? Yeah, do vaccines, of course. What's the easiest way? It's easiest Everybody got to get vaccinated. I believe every vaccine <laughs> has a particular code on it for a particular reason. I believe I mean, that if you see yeah. PH4500, zero, zero, this is a tracking vaccine that every human probably has to have in their body as a, not only a part to track you, but also as what digital number that you stand in in line. But it's liquid. Line. It's liquid. It doesn't matter. It goes into your blood. You know how, you know, listen, you know how you small You see T2? You have a, a, a microchip <laughs> can be so small that it can barely be the surface of your fingernail. Hmm. And I believe that that's what they're doing, that they... Injecting us with it, even we think we're getting the vaccine, they're actually putting a chip inside of us, a microchip. That's this way when you move around or whatever, um, number P413 is on the move. We just boarded the plane to California. But vaccines come in lots, like it would be a whole 20 stacks of vaccines that have the same lot number. So you're gonna have about 200 people with the same number. That's not that doesn't work, that doesn't make it's sense. It's not the same number. It's the, the lot would be the PH or the PCA, and then your individual number will be 0075-0076-0077. So how is, it, how, are the, how is the government keeping track of that through doctors giving vaccines? The same way they keep track of missiles and everything else. How do they know who's getting what vaccine? They don't. You're a number. But they have to attach the number to the person. Duh. At birth. When you're born, do you realize when you're born, when a doctor takes you away from your mother for that, that period of time, they hit you with something? Vitamin A shot. That's what it's you for believe. Your eyes. That's what you believe, but everybody gets it, though. You have to get Every it. It's for your vision. See the word? You have to. Why do you have to? Back in the days before we had all this technology and people were being born, let's just say pre prehistoric days, that vaccine 
didn't exist then. That That's why we have all those that, diseases. That vitamin, that, you know, know those vitamins came from? It came from aloe. It came mm-hmm. from aloe and certain things, certain herbs that we use on the earth to heal ourselves. They had fevers back then. They had plagues back then. And there were certain people that were able to, to, to concoct these little potions or whatever made from natural substance from the earth to heal and cure those ailments. We had the Black Sea in Africa, which mysteriously, where it was known to grow at, was destroyed. Hmm. Why would you want to destroy a, a field of that where, where uh, this, this particular seed that heals every element exists? Why would you destroy that? They threw a missile in there and blew it up hmm. in Africa. So where did the diseases come from? The diseases come from? That so much people died from. Because most of the diseases are, man, are man-made. Most of the things on the earth is man-made. The diseases are man-made. AIDS is man-made. HIV is I man-made. Believe that. And I don't believe yeah. that. I don't even, I don't know about Small that. Small parks, man-made and created. Think about it. How were the Indians conquered? Through Small infected park. blankets. You understand what I'm telling you? So therefore, we already know that the scientists back in that time were geared at population control. This is to ensure total dominance of the human race. Absolutely. But now that it's out there, it has to be controlled. It has to be controlled. It's out there now. You know what's Whether crazy? Whether how it got there. You know what's the crazy? Fact Excuse me, Jack. I'm going to get off record for this one. <laughs> I used to be in love with you. You're up now. <laughs> <laughs> You're up now. You're up now. <laughs> anyway, but that's what I'm saying, brother. At the end of the day, look how Jack like Jack like that. He like, his mind, he like, you pretty much. You going against the grain? Look at his face. Look I at don't face. disagree with mm-hmm. your theory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His theory being that they want to have a way to control the population. Facts. Mm-hmm. His theory being that in order to control the population, you have to know who is who. Now, Facts. I'm, I'm assuming that's what your theory is. I yeah. don't disagree with your theory. The application, I don't know, but I don't disagree mm-hmm. with the theory. Now, this is something that I think m- some people might have a problem with vaccinations. Let's say you have a hospital that you know is in the ghetto. Let's say that you have a hospital that you know is somewhere where it might be people that you would not necessarily want them to uh, be reproducing at a high value. Let's say you have the vaccinations. Let's say you know that this lot number doesn't necessarily work as well or isn't as it's tampered with or something, possibly and you are trying to control a population of people, you can send those vaccination shots to that hospital. Now that, I'm not saying it's something that happens, but I'm saying that's something that can plausibly happen in a world where we live in where Donald Trump is the president. There's a possibility that there are people that want to prevent different demographics from excelling, different demographics from not having autism. So in a reality, I don't think vaccinations actually cause autism, but I do believe that a tampered with vaccination can mm. inhibit a child and probably make them grow up with different emotional difficulties and different learning disabilities that might, you know, create a problem. That I believe. So that's why you're anti-vaccine. What about a vaccine that's No, 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 that's not why I'm anti-vaccine. Listen. Who's to say that so many vaccines that's given to us, because we have conversations about why certain medication costs more than other medication, why certain things are geared towards certain communities and not our community. Let's just say we get the leftover vaccine that's been sitting there for a period of time, and once they realize, oh, we got to get rid of these, they're shipped via ground, not even oh. overnight, do it via ground, so when it gets to our community, our schools, old. our children, that that we talked about that mm. in the house. Although I am pro vaccine, I'm not ignorant to the fact that when I did pediatrics, when I worked in pediatrics, that there's a state lot and there's a pay lot. If a child came in with like Medicaid or you know the low insurance, we couldn't give them the pay lot because the pay lot was the money that was going into the doctor's pocket. We had to go into the VFC which is vaccines for Medicaid and, and that sort, and give them those vaccines. Those vaccines came from the state, and then we got vaccines that came from the, from the city, um, from, from pay lot. And I never understood, and I always wondered, 
why would we really like we would really get in trouble if we took a state vaccine and gave it to a pay lot or vice versa it was that refrigerator's over there and that refrigerator's over there so with that being said that's why i i kind of am getting what you're saying which is still not swaying me from being pro-vaccine but i understand what you're saying well as, as far as vaccinations go that's my biggest issue that i have is because we already know and this is not me trying to break bait i'm not trying to play the lines or anything like mm -hmm. that but we already know which people get the leftovers we already know which people are in our they you see the people that they allow to be teachers in our schools mm -hmm. you can see the picture that people that they allow to to be around our children just in general i don't see any reason why they would wouldn't be just as i don't think it's an accident basically i don't think it's an accident that you see somebody and you say well maybe they, they we know that they're not going to be a good professor or we know that when they're not even gonna make a professor we know that they're not going to be a good teacher we know that they're not going to be a good instructor but still allow for them to go into um places to to to, to craft the minds of children because whether people understand it or not your child is with in school more than your child is with you you got to go mm -hmm. to work right. you got other things to do you might be with your child three hours a day your child is at school eight hours a day right. your child is with those are the people that's going to be influencing your child that's why when i see people that say that their their um their um friends have more influence over their children i'm like well their friends is with them more than you are they're gonna have more influence that's just the way that that works you know that's why it's important to why you have them all to yourself to instill in them certain qualities certain certain um you know aspects of your personality that you want to pass on not the not the toxic shit because we all got toxic yeah. stuff going on with us but not that stuff not our generational curses let's not give them those but yeah. you know the the other things that goes on with us that that, that we want to craft and turn them into the human being that we think is going to be a successful person in life right when we got them all to ourselves we supposed to give them that base of that aspect of, of, of life and understanding. And one of the most important things that I think people fail to, 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 to pass on to their children nowadays is the ability to learn. Like a lot of children, a lot of adults, part of me that I come across nowadays, I realized that they didn't really, they weren't taught how to learn. Mm -hmm. So that's why they have some of the problems that they have in life because they never they they were never instructed they need to unlearn and learn over again yeah but exactly so you know you know often you'll have an individual who they're not a bad person it's just that they don't know how to stop doing the thing that they're doing that's hurting them Facts. yep absolutely Facts. <laughs> 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 yeah but anyway um I, I I I agree with that, but I want to get back to her about the, like explain that again. The pay lot and the yeah, that's important. I think that we yeah, all that's need to, I want to that. That's that. a fact. Yeah, that's how it is. In, in in any pediatric clinic you go to, you have a separate refrigerator for the state vaccines. That's for like the Medicaid kids and the. Is it like mark like a maybe a blue sticker? Yeah, like it a says red sticker pay lot. Like pay lot, VFC. Hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like that. And any pediatric... And, and all and doctors know this. Yeah. And this isn't something that they, what they're not... You're they, not going to go into any pediatric facility that gives vaccines and not see it. It's separated and, vaccines. And, and, okay. So my currently today is like that still? Mm -hmm. So, so, so my point is, is that this isn't something that doctors bring up, or is this something that doctors prefer because it lines their pockets? I believe it's both. I think it's more so it, it lines it lines their pocket because the the insured vaccines the insurance companies give the doctors they get they get paid for even as small as even the injection they're getting paid for just so we could be clear we're making uh the the differentiation or, or or the determination that due to the fact that one vaccine actually has a monetary value to it that's higher than the other that both these vaccines cannot be of equal quality just so we could be just so we could be you know my argument with them was what difference does it make which vaccine i take as long as you know what insurance is being charged to what if it has the same because you have a paid lot and then you have a vfc lot and it'll have the same lot number and i'm like what's the difference between this vaccine and this vaccine and they're like oh well that's the v but if you're going by the insurance then all you got to do is charge what you need to charge to that insurance and charge what you need to charge to that insurance why should it matter physically what vaccine i pick up and use this MMR or that MMR? 
what's the difference? That, mm, as far as vaccines, but I'm still pro-vaccine. Sorry, mm-hmm. guys. Uh, even though you just, you just basically explained to us that a certain mm-hmm. type of people get some vaccines, mm-hmm. while a different type of people get other vaccines. Yep. It's unquestionable. Any pediatric clinic you go into, it's that way. You can ask if they, it's that way. I'm not, di- I'm not arguing that point. I'm just saying the reason why I'm not necessarily pro-vaccine is because if we can't give all children the same quality of mm. vaccinations, then maybe no children should have the opportunity to. Because once that happens, then everybody will be getting the same vaccine because you're going to have people mm-hmm. out there that's not going to stand for their kids not being vaccinated. So that's what we need to do. We need to make it so that everyone has the best quality of vaccines. There shouldn't be Absolutely. a... Um, vaccine for people who's on Medicaid and a vaccine for people with the big bucks. Like, that shouldn't even exist. That's crazy. That's basically, that's basically Jim Crowism. It does, though. That means basically... That's still being colors to the back of the bus? Mm-hmm. Could that mean that this is a color-only bathroom? It's the same thing. It's just been camouflaged and you know, it, it's bad as you're forced to have to work in that environment. Does that mean that don't give the, him that nerves, give him her. Hmm. And now, let Ginny work with them. Now, I'm not, Same thing. I'm not arguing, once again, I'm not arguing against the actual premise of what mm. you're saying because the premise of what you're saying is correct. I'm going to say the application. I don't mm. think it's a color thing. I think it's a financial, it's a finances thing. Because if I go in there and I got the money to pay for that vaccination, they're going to give it to me, right? Absolutely. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a class issue. It's a, it's a, uh, it's an economic, it's assault on people who are economically, uh, who are uh, economically challenged. I think that that's what it is. People who are on the low end of the totem pole as far as finances. So what you're actually saying is correct. I just think the application is But let's say is a this is different. happening. Let's say she doesn't deal with you and another nurse of that, we're going to say that denomination. Okay. Um, yeah, they can screw you over. That's a yeah, fact. Be like, oh, yeah, it's them. And give you. No, that's a fact. Others in the pay lot. Because it happens. Mm-hmm. It happens in restaurants. It that's happens all over the place. Every day, I'm going through Dumbo. I take a friend of mine to get his hair cut in Dumbo. He's barbing in Dumbo now. We're coming out. I'm letting pedestrians walk by. I'm already in between the two crossroads, halfway into my right turn. But people, you know how you know how that Dumbo is just like being in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They walk and you can't do nothing about it. Let them walk. The light changes while I'm waiting. The last person go by has to have a baby cabin, so I'm definitely not gonna move. She goes across. I turn. The two cars behind me turn. Do you believe? Yeah, these Spanish officers. Yeah, I'm pissed behind that. Stop me. Went between the cars to get to me and told me I ran a red light. But the cars behind you, they didn't say hmm. anything to. I'm not surprised. You know that why, happened. right? Of course. You know why they see me, my friend D in the front. He had his hat on. I don't have, have a hat on. I'm just riding regular. Just stay at my party. Mm-hmm. And they pulled me over. You ran a red light. I said, excuse me, officer, you didn't see all those people crossing the street while I was in a crosswalk? I said, you just went in between three cars to get next to me. So did they run a red light too? Hmm. Who did his partner say, go live? And they turned it on. So when it came on, I said, is, is it on me? Is it, is it clear on me? I said, you should have went live before you stopped me. That's a fact. That's the law. That's a fact. He like, I said, no, 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 don't walk away. Just give me a light. I said, it's right here. That's some hmm. legit. But you turned, you went loud when I started asking you questions on why you stopped me. Exactly, because they thought there was going to be a situation that was about to happen, and they yeah. wanted to make sure that they was that they they, they could act like they're justified. Yo, they yeah. just threw rocks and hit their hands. Yeah. That's what they just did. They threw rocks facts. and hit their hands. Yeah, facts. That's crazy. Yeah, but man, that's so, how people give it up. But that's so just still discrimination in my book. One out of shadow of a doubt. So I get your point, mm-hmm. and I'm agreeing with you mm-hmm. because. They could just go decide to go to the BS lot. It don't matter. They could just, I could go in there, be paying all my money, be like, hey, it's extra, you know, whatever bucks. And they could say, well, you know, screw that guy. We're going to give his kid the stuff that we don't think, that we think might not work. If that's the, if, I don't know why they do it. If that's the case, then yeah, they could. There shouldn't be that option. That's my that's point. That's my point. I don't think there should be that I don't option. think that. Is you sure that's your point? That's, because that I, sounds no, like I don't that's think my that, point. I don't think the separation should be. I don't think the separation should be there. The vaccine should definitely be there, but not the separation. Okay. But after you witness this, 
Okay, first of all, tell the people how long you've been in the medical field. Yes, yes, please do. 16 years. 16 years. And all this time, you mean to tell me and my bad When you became a nurse, at like 12? You trying to make me reveal my age? No, I'm not. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that anyway. But anyway, um, at the end of the day or whatever, you mean to tell me that after all this time, years of uh, experiencing this, of witnessing this, you're still pro-vaccine? I'm still pro-vaccine. There's diseases out there that need to be fought, and the only way you can fight them is through these vaccines. And it doesn't bother you that people went around from time with keloid, they wrap around their face, but they've never been cut? Wait, that happens? You think people have keloid vaccine? around their face, but all on their neck. Out here. From people, vaccines? Why it can't be the I, food it, we eat? Why it can't be the garbage you put I in believe, our system? I believe in the human body, man, right? You already know we have genes, but, you know, and your biological makeup, I just think certain things have certain effects. These guys are scientists. But it's not They've fine. been studying for years since almost the beginning of the time, right? We can go back to Imhotep and all the guys that specialize in the Akhenaten. We can go to these people and understand that they've been studying medicine back then. You associating that with vaccines and not maybe possibly the garbage that Did we you, put in our I'm system as far again. as food. I'm going to say it Antibiotics, again. Antibiotics, steroids. Yeah, my point exactly. Studying medicine back then. This is why they came with the sacred oath in the medical field. They have an oath. Like, yeah, we do. Like, yeah, like the code of murder. <laughs> Certain things you yeah. just can't do a bypass in that in that oath. Back then the you were stoned and murdered. These days you lose your practice and they just basically discredit everything you ever done. Like that dude you was just talking about that was trying to change the vaccines into something yeah, else. He went against the call. Like that guy. He went, yeah, he went against, and then. And, and he experimented on like 12 kids, like taking spinal fluid and all that stuff. Like he really like tortured them just to prove that the MMR vaccine causes autism and bowel disruption. And okay, all before we go any further, what did it prove? Nothing. It just, he just did this it to these kids that he nothing. probably needed to be, he needed to have his license taken away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He probably needed to have other stuff happen yeah. to him. Is he in jail? And then the parents who let him do it, like, come on, like, what's these? First of all, we have we have young parents today that's very impressionable. That everybody lives through the internet, mm -hmm. so anything they see or hear, or they're scared. People are scared. The measles will kill you. Okay, it will kill you. Things like pertussis, whooping cough. If you don't want to vaccinate against that, that's fine. It's not going to kill you. Chicken pox. Parents don't probably want to do it. It's not going to kill you. All right, that's fine. But stuff like 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 measles, like rotavirus for kids that's under six months old, like get those vaccines. What is rotavirus? Please explain. Rotavirus is a stomach virus that um, babies get between the ages of newborn and six months. So they will have to get three of those by the time they're six months old to keep from getting a rotavirus. It's a really bad stomach and bacteria infection. Mm -hmm. That has a vaccine, but it's a liquid. They drink it. It's for their stomach. Like hepe, hepe is like you go overseas, you eat something bad, you get something like food poisoning, diarrhea. I have a messy like question. Back, you know, when we were kids, you know. That too. Our immune what system. What was that stuff they was giving us a sweet stuff we to take? That's rotavirus. That's it? Mm-hmm. My man had the little tube. I don't know if you, you, old, you old enough. The little tube, and you, it tasted sweet. It was like How was you remember candy. that? You had to be a baby. Man, I remember that. <laughs> rotavirus. And I got a good memory. I could remember before I could walk. Yeah. Li yeah. Facts. I don't remember that. That must yeah, be. I remember. I don't know why I don't I remember, remember that, but I remember before I could walk. Facts. I remember. I can tell you. Is that a good thing or is it like was I traumatized? It's it's, <laughs> it's weird. I remember really? getting bathed. I remember yeah. getting bathed. I remember getting bathed in the sink before my 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 my, my second my, my my second birthday, my two year birthday. My mother bathed me in hmm. the sink. When I said that to her, she was like, somebody told you that. I said, no, mine is exactly what you did. Hmm. You got me naked or whatever. I hope so. She me. was bathing you, right? No, no, no. You, look, you got me naked or whatever. You, got me, you wrapped me in a towel or whatever. You took me in the kitchen or whatever. I said, you tricked me to wash my hair. I didn't like my hair washed. Hmm. She was like, and she was stuck. I said, then on my, on my, on my three-year-old birthday, I kept pulling the curtains. I turned around. 
and she had killed the crab, but she was making crabs that day. I said, you threw the crab on my shirt and I almost tore the kitchen door down getting up out of there. <laughs> she told me, she said, yeah, nobody couldn't, have, nobody couldn't have made it. Like, it was just me and you in the kitchen. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't believe stuff like that affect our children. Like, you see how mm. my memory is? Because there's certain things my mother couldn't give us because my father wasn't tolerating. Are you vaccinated? No. Huh? Are you vaccinated? Am I vaccinated? It depends on what you talk about. I, got, I took Henny. I had Henny. Shit. No, man. Are you that's vaccinated? From <laughs> Not that, that, those that's kind a, of shots. That's a vaccine <laughs> right there, baby. You know what I mean? Henny take all the pain away. You know what I mean? Now I'm joking. But, you know, yeah, yeah I'm vaccinated. Um, what I just got? I just, I just went to the doctor. Um, Pneumococcal. Pneumonia. That could have killed you. But what did I get I had pneumonia, that, too. He did. Yeah, you too. had pneumonia too. I had pneumonia too. Yeah, they gave too. me them pills them, them, that make your whole system flush out. Yeah, so they, they gave me orange in the beginning. They, I had to I flush, all, flush all that out. Then they gave me um, they gave me um, hepatitis um, B. B. I had to get that twice. Of course, like the first one. So I Remember when AIDS first, it. when HIV first yeah. came out, they thought it was Hep B. No, yeah. they really? identified yeah. it as Hep B. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, they gave me the first one. I had to go back, and they gave me the second one. It's a two-part um, it um, be vaccine. Three. And adults is too now. Yeah. It's a two part vaccine. They gave me the first one and I went back to it again. Then they gave me they gave me something else they gave me. They gave me oh, they test me for T B, all the rest of the stuff or whatever. Um HIV, so a whole battery of tests, whatever. I got tested in case they did whatever, but it, well, before we go stopped. any further, mm-hmm. everybody should get a blood test. At the minimum, at least once a year. I try to get one twice, mm-hmm. but everybody should have your blood tested. You don't ever know what's going annual, on with every you. Year. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's a fact. Yeah. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, that's good. I'm a phlebotomist. Oh. I do this all day, every day. <clears throat> I chose to come out of the medical, the doctors. I just don't agree with a lot of things that they do. Hmm. So explain those things to us. What you don't like that they do? Phlebotomist. That's blood, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's a poker. She will poke you. Um, I could get blood from a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 the doctors do that you don't like? I don't like how doctors just like putting kids on medication for no reason. Like mm. work with them. Like don't just oh Jimmy's acting this way and mom said this and this and that and and oh well let's put him on this and see how he acts. No. Yeah, you find their brain. You put them on that med- yeah, medication. Yeah, they they're so quick to put them on medication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've. Done. I've touched every field in medicine except dermatology, which is fine. I work, and everything surrounds insurance, the money that goes into these doctors' pockets. I had a doctor tell me, I had to cath a patient, an older guy, and we didn't have the, 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 the cath his size. So I told the doctor. Stop. She's talking about a catheter? Yeah. That's when people got to go mm-hmm. down your urethra? When I was doing urology. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the doctor goes, oh, don't worry about it. Just use this and this. And I was like, but we can't use this. He's going to have leakage. Like, don't. He was like, oh, Vicky, don't question me. He's on Medicaid. Big deal. I was oh, like, wow. whoa. Wow. <laughs> I was like, whoa. And you're still okay with people just giving our kids any type of vaccinations? You have to trust your doctor. You have to know your doctor. Somebody trusted there's that guy. There's bad doctors out there. The, there's, there's very bad oh, doctors out hold there. Hold on. Somebody trusted that guy. Yeah. A whole bunch of people trusted that yeah. guy. He still has a practice, he right? Said, yeah. Actually, no. He had to, he went to Canada. He closed his practice and moved to Canada. Were they after him? I had a doctor tell me. You see what I'm saying? He went no. to Canada. He left the country. He that left, means I don't that know. every time you dealt with him, it was equipment to go into the corner store and buy a Lucy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everything has a risk. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> everything has a risk. <laughs> Shoot. I had a doc- I was. I was pediatrics i was in the waiting area i was sanitizing the toys you know at the end of the day whatever mm-hmm. so the doctor comes out and he goes vicky what are you doing i'm like i'm sanitizing the toys he's like for what i'm like because they're germy the kids was playing with them all day he was like exactly they're germy we need them to come back wow don't sanitize my is this toys. the same doctor no this is a different doctor this you know what's a- crazy man these niggas are selling drugs hmm? they drug dealers man did you hear about the dude that just got arrested? Who? They finally got a doctor arrested for the uh because he was uh, for the um opioids. There's finally a doctor that has been arrested for the opioids. Yes. They like the bunch of people, right? I think they like the bunch of people. I think I seen that. I think they got a whole pyramid of people that got locked up. And it was in the Bronx too, wasn't it? 
Uh, what kind of doctor? Internal medicine? I think for like pain or something like that or whatever. Also? Oh no, opioids. That's all I know. Usually they do the opi o o opioids or something like that. There's usually a pain doctor, medical clinics that, that deal with something like that. But everything is tracked now. Everything. They could give you an aspirin. It goes into the database. Everything is tracked now. No, they have people going in the clinic like they really have problems and they really they, they, they really prescribing these pills. They turn around and they, they sell them on the street. You know? That's how it is. That's man. why you know when you have a really good doctor where he's really adamant about trying anything other than an opioid to give you first. That's mm. always his last his last organization to give you. Um, right here we have the New York Times. It says uh, doctor accused of trading opioid prescriptions for sex and cash. So I guess uh, that's why he was arrested. Well, he was a freak. He was yeah, wilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was wilding with it. I think this happened at Pittsburgh. It said last summer a woman in northern Alabama who law enforcement officials said was a prostitute tried to message a doctor, can you get me Xanax? The doctor replied, what makes you think I know a Xanax source? Just below he added a smiley face and he described his home as the fun house. The doctor was one of the so scores of multiple professionals across seven states who are charged by federal prosecutors on Wednesday with some schemes to illegally distribute millions of painkillers. Opioid prescriptions were Tell exchanged you. for sex in some cases and for cash and with added concierge fee in others. One doctor was accused of routinely prescribing mm -hmm. opioids to friends on Facebook. Mm. Wow. Medicine. Shout out to the... Uh, New York Times, by the way, <laughs> and the individual that wrote that uh, article name is Campbell Robinson. Shout out to Campbell Robinson. Do you know that now a doctor can get their board certification with an open book? They don't have to actually know what they're doing. They can do open book. You wow, that's it? crazy. I found this out last year. But, I mean, Kim Kardashian might be a lawyer soon, so anything's possible. That's a fact. And she's literally getting people out of prison, for everybody that don't know. <laughs> no, she's really getting people out of prison. She just got some dude out of prison in, um, that's already, they gave him a, he's already served like 22 years. He had like some kind of little drug charge, wasn't even that big of a deal. And they gave him like life. Yeah. It was a little drug charge she, they gave him life. She just got she him out. Got him, uh, and, and she paid his rent for like five years, something like that. Oh yeah, that's another dude. She paid five years rent. Well, she's trying to, but nobody's letting the guy move in. That's crazy. That's kind of dope though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's kind of dope. Go Kim. Yeah, shout out to Kim Kardashian. Shout out to Kim. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> and, and big up to Yeezy, man. We got a commercial for you, bro. That's a fact. Mm. Yeah. All right, so. Yeah, so we got doctors that's giving away opioids for sex. We got doctors that's not allowing children's toys to be cleaned. We have doctors that are doing all types of different shenanigans. Why do you think that we still should believe that these same doctors are going to give us the, um, the, 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 the vaccinations that aren't going to harm our children? Because these doctors are not the ones that are making the vaccines. That's not the argument that I just made. Okay. Anyway. You just said that there's two different vaccinations, right? Mm -hmm. There's the vaccinations for the people who are on Medicaid, mm -hmm. and there's a vaccination for the people who pay cash. But they're not the manufacturers of the vaccines. It doesn't matter. They're the handlers, the distributors. Listen, okay. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Yeah. That's my point. They're the ones that's giving these vaccinations to people. So who isn't to say that they're telling you? I'm just saying, for argument's sake, hold on, hold on, baby girl. For argument's sake, they're telling you this is the cash and this is the... Uh, the, the, the Medicaid, right? But in reality, this is the colored peoples and this is the Caucasians. Well, we have the whites and the but Spanish let's, that's on But let's be Medicaid. clear. No, but what I'm saying is, is that no matter if you're on Medicaid no. or not, if you are black, you're still going to get let's But that's sort of someone. kind of blaming, no, let's be blaming clear the something. distributor for the A fact that we cartel. keep overlooking, right? It's only been 20 years since you had a bunch of black millionaires. Hmm. Before you had token, <clears throat> token black men. It is token that it was created to say, "Hey, I'm not racist." So they created a couple of millionaires, but had them on hush time. Mm -hmm. Look at Clarence Thomas. Mm -hmm. And and let's the not do actually new law, but he was on hush time. So now, forget about the Puffies, the Jay Zs, the Russell Simmons of today. Let's go back before these guys were millionaires. 
and could afford that. It go back to what he just said. This is for our people. This is for their people. Our people gonna have a clean bill of health. Um, what we're giving them is gonna help boost their self-esteem so they can create and recreate and recreate. And we're gonna give them high blood pressure, diabetes. Well, with that being we said, we our food is fucking us up also. I'm agreeing with you. I'm, once again, <laughs> I agree with your, your principle. Mr. So you said, I know white people that go to the same shit, they eat the same shit. Well, also, right? our biology, our biology is different. I don't get, yeah. I don't know what you're yeah. about to say as far as that point, but our biology is different. No disrespect to people, but mm. our biology is different. And us as melanated individuals, mm. we kind of need to have, a, in most cases, a different diet than a Caucasian individual. Absolutely. No disrespect yeah. taken. Like I said, I agree with you on principle. On principle, I think you're spot on, right at the middle of the bullseye. Yeah. But I'm saying with the application, I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not all the way there with the application. I believe with you on principle though, and that's the point I think you was trying to make earlier, and that's one of the main reasons why I came back to that point. Because yes, there's two different lots. But mm -hmm. who's to say that they're giving, even if people are doing with the pay, who's to say that they're giving the people who are paying? If I'm black, I might go there and they got to give me that pay lot. But the mofos is like, you know what? Let's give them the non-pay lot. They can still do that. It's I'm saying that they shouldn't them. have a non-pay lot that, and a no, pay lot. It should be should. one damn lot. It and until be. they do that, then we need to do something other than vaccinations. Facts. What, what could you do other than vaccinations to get these diseases? We don't let nobody. Once everybody can have that part of Pardon me. Once everybody can have vaccinations, watch, they're going to all be the same vaccinations. My folks is not going to let their kids grow up and get polio. We're going to all have the same vaccinations once nobody can have I mean, vaccinations. Maybe it's just probably as innocent as insurance and, and how they separate the insurance. I just don't understand like how physical has to do with paper. You know what I'm saying? As far as the insurance, you know what the insurance is going to pay for whatever i don't think the vaccine should be separated i absolutely do not think the vaccine should be separated but you should be vaccinated you should be vaccinated point well taken but it still go back i just feel like like it's no it's no like it's like it's not a mystical that it's us we get high blood pressure food diabetes we food we eat right they said you can blame it on the food we eat but let's be firm here. We were stronger, more agile, and advanced than they were while we were eating chitlins. But understand and this. Through slavery days. Understand Excuse this. Excuse me, let me finish. Right? Hey, I'm going to let you debate. Okay. Right? But I got to get this off my chest because you pissing me I off. I got you. I got you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, by the end of the day, what I'm trying to say to you is this way here, right? Like, what's the, like, like, I mean, that's really, what's the difference? And let me clarify something. When I say white people, I don't mean all, all white people. Because you got a lot of white people that's taking fire right now by getting behind us, the movement is trying to change things <clears throat> for what they were. As Trump said, make America great again. Negative, I think not. But anyway, you got people that's actually stopping people like Donald Trump from recreating genocide. Whether you want to say it or not, they, create, they, they, they committed genocide against us. We have a generation right? of kids now that are so weak. Their immune system is so weak because they do nothing. They're not outside. They're in the house playing video games. We used to play in junkyards. And they're taking all the vaccines. Abandoned buildings. We used to eat dirt. Yeah. Okay, our immune we system was... We used to drink was, out of the pump. Yeah, Our pump immune all system that. was so <laughs> well, there's strong. There's nothing wrong with us, We didn't though. have these allergies, these, 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 these sis these things that's going on with kids now because kids see they are so weak they need those vaccines they're so how, weak how do we know is that the vaccines creating this though should you understand it could be the vaccines creating this you know how many time i'm playing manhood a coco leaf we went in put my fall fall on something cut myself with a bottle or anything and i'm good mama love will get up in there boom one day my pops was like yo boy you gonna bad you a man Shh, pour some liquor on me oh uh, boom wrap me up mm -hmm. and i was good I didn't catch no nothing. These days, the kids are coming up. We, so we have a higher rate of autism than ever before. Than ever before, because at the same time, I when y'all going through birth, they giving your stuff, the um, um 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 the vitamins, prenatal vitamins. That shit got stuff inside of it too. That's making the babies come out 
abnormal. I think you're both making great points, but I definitely do agree that it's the food that we eat that are causing a lot of our... Yo, give me one minute. I'm doing the interview. It's mass production. They have to use... You could have a chicken born today that's fully grown in three days. It's, it's, the, it's the, the steroids. You have girls, little girls, eight years old, getting a period. Wow. Really? Yeah. Fully... Bre- I'm Vaccines. Gone. Okay. Fully. <laughs> Okay, first of all, we can all agree that there's problems going on. We have to figure out a way to, 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 to mitigate these issues that's happening in society. We could all agree with that, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I do believe that some of, of a, a, a good portion of the problem that exists, with, with, especially what you were talking about, about we're just, and you, or we're just not as strong as we used to be. I think that we're, we're getting to the same place, but we're going in different directions. I think that... You want to fight against the vaccinations, rightfully mm-hmm. so, because screw them niggas if we can't all have the same vaccinations. Facts. That's my point. And I think that you're saying that we have to also be a little bit understanding about the other aspects of society and the things that we do, like the way that we eat, uh, how we exercise, how much we get out into the sun, things like that. Are also, D, all of that, yeah. Exactly. Some, all of that has something to do with uh, uh, some of the problems that we're discussing. And now I'm not disagreeing with either which one of you. I think you're both making very valid points. The number one thing that I want to say about the, the um, vaccinations is we all need the same vaccinations. There shouldn't be a lot A and a lot B. That I agree. Screw that. Mm-hmm. They, Absolutely. They, that, 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 there's no room for that. That's 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 a dead thing. I'm surprised that, nobody ever really, like, had a problem, like, never brought that up before. Like, that that's just known in every practice, every. You know why? Because it's instilling our people to go to work and mind their business. That was my problem. That was not my business. Yeah, exactly. Let me tell you something, right, bro? You remember that movie, that Chanel show one day, with the dude that got the time on the arm? Yes, I know the a movie you're talking about. Which had to steal your time. Yes, when you get to like right. an age like 25, you stop aging, and then the yeah. way that it works is is that you could like time is money. Time. Yeah. yeah, and then you could like gamble or whatever, and yeah. give people your time or whatever. Yeah, now, that was let's, dope. Let's just say the vaccines. We just we just don't see the time clock. But what if, what if the, one of those vaccines? At, at the stroke of 12, they can say, okay, in a particular lot of maybe five men all around the world, because you don't have to be in New York, all around the world, like prom, physical trainer, don't eat meat, don't get high, smoke weed, none of that. And he just had an aneurysm and he died. And, excuse me, mama? And not only him, <laughs> how many people, remember, other people had aneurysm at the same time? Or the same time remember when we was in Miami and we yeah. saw that guy, he was um, jogging down the beach and he was pulling weights. That weight, yeah. And you was like, damn, he must be really strong. I said, he's going to be dead in two years. Because yeah. you can't work out that hard for your body. You can't work out like that. You can't strain your heart like that. Yeah. Man. I was but, like, he thinks he's making himself stronger. Yeah. He's killing him. Yeah. Well, look, let's, let's That's just a fact, say though. That's the same. It's like that. A certain lot. Uh, as they go, POs, they have a number for okay. each situation. Like we do the invoices, but they have a certain lot. A mm-hmm. certain lot. And at a certain time period, when you hit that button, that, that chip activate. And now this guy got 30 days to live. It's possible. I'm just saying. I'm gonna tell you. It may sound a little far fetched. I'm gonna. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm gonna tell you why I think that sometimes we have people that pass away at young or just unexpected, and we don't really recognize it. Or you might have somebody that might age very quickly, and you'd be like, "Why they like just last week?" You know what I'm saying? And I think it has a lot to do. Do y'all ever notice? And I'm not trying to make a conspiracy theory, but do y'all not ever notice when people get a certain amount of money, they stop aging? Facts. Dr. Dre, Ice Cube. Okay, I'm not going to keep Jay-Z, going on further. Puffy. I'm not gonna, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it has anything more to do with knowing what to put into our body sometimes. Not eating certain foods. Staying away from certain things. Knowing that when you mix certain foods together, like a lot of people don't know. We, it, from what I've heard, it's actually not really good to eat meat and cheese at the same time. That's why Jewish people don't do it. You are not getting a cheeseburger from, the, from you're not. They're not putting cheese on your meat. It's not going to happen. So a lot of people don't understand that there's ways to eat. Mm -hmm. So when you spend 20 years eating bad, when you spend 20 years overworking yourself out, then you you just, and people think you're dying sudden, but you're not really dying sudden. You've been working on this for 20 years. 
Like remember we was asking why all of a sudden they're giving us they're giving us um paper straws. Mm-hmm. Remember we was like, oh these paper straws, like we got big drinks and paper yeah. straws. It's something with the plastic now. Yeah. That, that, listen, my point exactly. For so many years they told us, hey, listen, this way here is good. This helps in the fight against cancer. Now those same things that they, you know, that they basically recommended, they say in the bad for us now. Well, that's also because now they have different information. Or mm-hmm. even more, uh, now it's so widely used that it might be injuring people <laughs> who they might not want to get injured. So now they're like, oh, man, we got to come clean. So yeah. that couldn't be something that's happening. It could be now. Could uh, you repeat that one more time? Injuring people who they did not want injured. I said that verbatim back too, didn't I? Look, HIV, AIDS, syphilis, it started attacking the wrong people. Hey. Hey, we got something that we're gonna control the population, but what they don't know is that Danny boy over here is promiscuous. Mm. He went around to X Y Z. So now that it hits home, no, not my child, not my son. Yeah, but you created this. So now the kickback is, hey, we got ever children out there. So now forget what he's talking about. We have to make the community and the public aware now. Mm-hmm. Think about it. Shorty Chisholm. Shorty Chisholm been the highlight of all of this. And we just heard it. And we took sides with the slave master. Mm. She been highlighted this when she said she was going to the computer and, and this, this stuff popped up. Now, years later, that is going on. Only person acknowledged her was Bismarcky. Mm. Reagan was the president, but I voted for Shorty Chisholm mm. because she highlighted HIV, AIDS. Cancer, man-made diseases, well, and nobody listened to her. I'm not gonna argue. I think I think cancer is more avoidable than anything else, in my opinion. It is very right. Because um, uh, we literally give ourselves cancer in about 90 percent of the cases. Could could, could, could we kind of agree on that? Mm-hmm. And we literally give ourselves cancer um, by the things that we eat. For everybody that know, am I correct about this? Um, because, you know, some food have, have carcinogens. Cancer. Some food have carcinogens in it, like um, sausages or processed meat just in general. Mm-hmm. And those carcinogens can actually lead to cancer. It's, it, it, or it's, it's, it, we have cancer cells in our body. We, we have cancer in our body. What it does, it, it awakens the cancer okay. cells. That's what causes cancer. We, mm. we, have, we inhibit cancer. It's just laying dormant until something that we eat or something awakens those cells and it starts to mold and spread, you know, like that. So... We don't catch cancer. Exactly. That's the point in which I'm trying to right. make. This is these cancer is something that we can actually actively prevent ourselves from mm-hmm. getting. If, if we're eating appropriately, if we're getting a, a decent amount of exercise, I'm not talking about killing yourself. <laughs> right. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not doing that. But um, if we're, if, if we're, you know, uh, trying to live a little bit more healthy, I think uh, if you ever notice, and this is just something, just I'm just going sideways on this for one second. I'm, I'm going to take a, um, how do how you say a, uh, I'm just, for one second you ever noticed at night when for people that don't know you're the most susceptible for um you're the most susceptible for a uh, suggestion when you're tired mm-hmm. when you're like half awake half sleep that's when you're the most suggestible for suggestion that's that like for people that i'm not talking about hypnotizing people or nothing like that i'm not saying that hypnotism also doesn't exist i'm just saying that you're the most susceptible for suggestion when your defenses are down and your defenses are the most down when you sleep Right. You ever notice that on television at night when people are about to go to sleep, which what commercials they play more than any other commercials? I'm about to tell you, and then you're gonna recognize it. Fast food. Yeah, always. Yeah. yeah. Those Wendy's, are the most. McDonald's, yeah. Wendy's, McDonald's, Applebee's, anything involving KFC. food. KFC. That look good. You see that? That looks so. Oh my yeah. God. We should go get. <laughs> Yo, call, call, call. Who you, you know? Get this delivered, like. You know what they're yeah. actually doing, right? They're priming you for tomorrow. So now when you wake up to the next day and you be like, you know what, I just have the taste for this thing. It's because when you were going to sleep, that's what was on your TV playing. And you be, you were primed last night mm-hmm. to now want to do this thing. Did you ever see no, that's workout fact. commercials on at that night? At late, do you hear workout commercial? Vitamin commercials, they used to do workout commercials. Remember the infomercials yeah. that used to come on? Yeah. All night. Why don't those come on no more? Why? Because not everybody started going to the gym. The next generation of people 
are now in the gym at night. So how are you going to have a workout commercial when the people who are going to most likely go to the gym are in the gym at night working out? You know what I'm saying? That's how they're programming people in order to not eat so healthy. That's how they're programming us. And I'm not saying they're programming us to kill us. I'm saying that they have a job and it's to sell a food. Right. Mm. And so they know that the easiest way to be able to uh, to get into some to, to get convince somebody to do something is to suggest it to them when they're the most vulnerable. Right. You are the most vulnerable when you're tired and not paying attention. You ever had somebody ask you a question when you were tired and you're you just like, say, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, go ahead. Just leave me alone. I'm tired. Exactly. So exactly. This is exactly what's going on. So this is exactly what's going on. And I think that that's actually leading to a lot of the health issues that individuals have. Because now we wake up the next day and then we're gonna go to freaking, go get some processed meat for breakfast. And then after we eat the processed meat for breakfast, we're gonna go get some processed meat for lunch. And then mm -hmm. after we eat mm -hmm. the processed meat for lunch, we're gonna go home, have a processed sandwich, pardon me, to snack on, and then eat some processed dinner. And then, after about 15 years of this process stuff, people are going to say, Oh, God, why you gave me cancer? Anyway, back. <laughs> um, so we were just discussing, uh, basically, we need to eat better. Because it, uh, uh, forget about the whole cancer vaccination thing for one money. Um, we want to live healthier just in general like you know uh I, I always listen to people say they you know are concerned with dying this way or dying that way i think we should be more concerned with how we live in i want to be able to go out and run i want to be able to go out and you know uh do stuff with with the with the kids i want to mm -hmm. you know got grandkids or whatever you want to be able to go out and enjoy their company or teach them stuff or spoil them because you know you, 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 you know because people mm -hmm. a lot of people that want to say well you can spoil the grandkids but you you either got to spoil your kids or spoil the grandkids you can't do both because if you don't if you spoil your kid you're gonna you, you know you're gonna have to end up raising the grandkids anyway it's like a saying like that that is mm -hmm. so true <laughs> 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 Right. There's, a, there's a saying that goes no, something like that. That's actually very true in my life. But so we we <laughs> need to try to um just you know work on living. You understand what I'm saying? So we need to we need to drink a little bit more um, healthy. I'm not saying I still drink alcohol. Don't plan on stopping. So we need to be able to you know do stuff and to enjoy ourselves. And we also need to be able to also eat okay now and then or eat reasonably well and and realize that we we're not eating well because we're trying to do good we eating well for the people that love us in our life because they want us to stay around so i think that that's somehow how we have to perceive things and think about things right but you can't start now after 40 years or 35 years and then something happens and then you blame it like on oh i've been eating good for the last five ten years yeah but you've been killing yourself for the that's last a fact. 25 that's a fact. Like you can't. Your your body's just gonna go into shock. Like you can't just all. Oh, you have to wean yourself. That's a fact. You can't just. I'm vegan. Your body's gonna go. What? All right, <laughs> let me ask this question. <laughs> That's a fact. Shut let down. me ask this question about the vegan situation. Is it um. Kind of like kind of productive to eat salad with salad dressing. Cause even though the salad is healthy, the salad dressing has sugar and everything else inside of it. French dressing. That's a that. good question. You can use vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Are you a vegan? No, absolutely not. Okay. No, but people always say, yeah, well, you know, you can turn vegan. Yeah, but I want vegans put salad dressing on their salad. But it could be organic salad dressing. Even with the Caesar salad, that Caesar sauce, what it is, that stuff got a lot of stuff in it. And not if it's organic. It doesn't have any preservatives. It's just organic. All right, let me ask you a question. What's the difference between organic and inorganic preservative excuse me but it's all created for something you it's, 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 it has to be like in order to make it taste the same it has to be a common ingredient that goes in both then it can't be organic organic has not been touched it has not been touched it has no preservatives so, so how do you make salad dressing how you have how do you have an organic salad dressing it's ha it has to be touched it's like tofu Tofu has absolutely nothing in it, and you can make it taste like whatever you want it to taste. And that's coincidentally why I don't eat tofu. But with that also being said, 
for everybody to know, we're not actually supposed to eat the white vinegar. The white vinegar, we are not ever supposed to. Apple as, cider vinegar. Yes, we're never supposed to eat white vinegar. A lot of people don't know that. They use white vinegar all the time like it's a food. No, white vinegar is the clean shit. I mean, I don't really know what that's white right. vinegar like is white for. Sugar. You shouldn't yeah. eat white sugar. That's what I usually put. Like, my big turkey wing, chicken, I clean it with the vinegar. Hmm. That's the white vinegar. Brown sugar, brown eggs, not caged, all that good stuff. But sugar is sugar, though. But it's brown mm, sugar or white sugar, no, it's sugar. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> one is. One is just bleach and one is not, but it's sugar. Sugar is sugar. We have to buy some natural sugar that come out of fruit and stuff like that. Natural, like cane sugar. Natural sugar, organic. It hasn't been touched. It's not preserved. It's For still sugar, though. First of all, almost anything white we shouldn't be eating anyway. At all. Like not even trying to nothing. be disrespectful. Yeah. But anything white we shouldn't be eating. It's bleached. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> I ate a brown egg for the first time ever day, man. Did you like it? It tasted fresh. <laughs> yeah, it does. It tasted fresh. I love boiled eggs, man. I love boiled eggs, man. Did you eat it boiled? Huh? Did you yeah, eat, have them boiled? eat them just to so have them. I don't know what he was making, but he was boiling some potatoes and he had some eggs. So I thought it was going to be potatoes. I'm like, you put potatoes on it? He said, nah. I said, all right, well, anyway, took the spoon, took a couple out. I was like, damn. Tasted fresh. I mean, good, fresh, fresh, good, fresh. Like, I was like, damn. So I jacked it for two more and I ran downstairs. <laughs> 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 no, but it, it's, a, it's a difference in the taste. The brown egg and the white egg. It is. It is. Cage free too. Make but, sure it's cage do, free. but do that egg come out brown like that? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, it comes out brown. So then how a white egg come out? I always seen white eggs. You never grown a chicken in school? Eggs come out. They come out brown. They come you never out white. Grew, you never put the egg under the light and all that. And, and thought that you could hatch the egg, soak it in vinegar or something like that, and the chick could come out. The chick that, came that, out though. The chick came out. The chick came out. Like a like, leg <laughs> horn, four horn. <laughs> it came out. It didn't live very long though. It died. <laughs> no, for Damn. real, it died. My chicken died. I was emotionally distraught behind that joint. Mm. Oh, it died. I used to actually work in a chicken died. hatchery. Yeah. 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 I never want to do that again. <laughs> he said, I never want to do that again. Nah, I used to work, actually work in a chicken hatchery in Georgia. What the they had you doing? Uh, they call everything you do maintenance because every single thing you do revolves having to clean up. So you're just sanitation whenever you work in the chicken hatchery. That's everybody's mm -hmm. sanitation. Mm -hmm. So when you watch them hatch, they come out all. Um, I don't watch them. Okay, they're in the machine when they hatch. So you okay? So okay, real quick. So everybody that don't know, you got two different. Um, you have a, a refrigerator that you keep them in when you just they're just ready to get ready. Mm -hmm. Ready, and then when when you got to transfer them, you got to do this thing called transferring. Transferring is a hell of a job. It's long, takes hours to do, but you got to then transfer them from that freezer to the actual chicken hatchery machine. That's a certain degree of temperature in order to be able to, uh, you know, birth them or whatever. These are eggs you don't eat. Mm. Yes. So you go in and you put them in the thing. It's kind of crazy too because this is like this big thing. Then you got to stick the board and you got to pull the tray out. Then there's like a tray thing here and you got to bring it over. You got to put it on top of the thing. You got to flip them over and put the eggs in that thing. You got to pick up the metal thing. You got to put the rack. You got to put the rack in this other thing. You got to go to the guy while one guy's putting the rack, stacking the racks. The other guy's going back to get the transfer. And then you got to pull out another. Yo, it's dumb quick. So we used to race. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> that's all good. Uh, yeah, man, race I, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like, get my chicken back. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a lot because there'd be like yeah. three teams. You know what I'm saying? It's a two man team. So, um, but uh, the point I was trying to make is, is that ah, fuck, I forgot the point I was trying to make because I started telling that damn Let me story. Just say, those, those are chickens you don't eat. Those, those are the ones you don't eat. Those are caged. Those are considered. Uh, caged. so we eat the ones that from were, the farm. Uh, so we eat the ones that weren't but tortured. Some farms right. is pumping steroids in, in chickens now. No, she's saying that those farms faster. don't. That's what you're saying? Mm -hmm. She's they saying don't. those farms don't. You have to know where you're getting it from. It, it takes a while. It takes I think the farms are doing it now because at one point, agriculture was twisted. <laughs> no, it was twisted. Like, they were starving. They started pumping. They started <laughs> no, pumping. everything. <laughs> everything. 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 
No. Instead of pumping the bourbon in the stairway, this is why I, to get the chicken leg that's this big. Well, you see no, the that's a fact. The size of a turkey. That's not coming from a farm. Though. No, this coming is. From a farm. We're saying that they're, she's. What well, she's saying, let's just be clear on this, that those are two different things. She's saying there's the actual farms yeah. where the people are doing it the appropriate right, way. You can actually go and, and then, pick your own egg. Yeah, the place where I was working at ain't a farm, it's a hatchery. So that's where they're just manufacturing that's and mass the producing. With all the birds inside of it, going up the Yeah, highway, yeah. The cage that's a life. fact. Yeah. The, yeah, they just That's mass crazy. producing over there. Yeah. You see people that go and they buy their chickens live and then they watch their chicken killed. Yeah. You can't even you probably can't even fry that chicken because it's not preserved. You got I have a friend. Wait, that time I used out. To work Stop with. everything, please. Don't forget your thought. What you mean you can't fry the chicken because it's not preserved? It's not you, gonna stick together, it's gonna fall apart. So you mean so the regular chicken, if I just had a chicken in the crib and I was like, I want chicken and I kill that chicken and I try to fry that chicken, it's I'm fall apart. So what am I supposed to do to eat it? Do it or something and bake it. So all chicken is preserved. They have some weird. Buying it from the supermarket. So uh, all I'm gonna say is, how was it sitting in the supermarket so long without going? Back no, I, that, yeah, it's preserved. I, Go buy your chicken. I yeah. can't eat fried chicken no more. <laughs> oh man, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yo. It's probably just gonna fall apart. Don't worry about oh, it. Man. Listen, listen, that means the chicken's out of season for you, but you always got rabbit you got people that w- raise. <laughs> <laughs> you got people that raise their turkeys. They uh-huh. get their turkeys from, like, January when they raise them all the way till November, and then they kill them and eat them for Thanksgiving. But you know what's in your you turkey because you raise it you and You ever had it. turkey chops? Have I ever had turkey chops? They're yeah. Like, they're like pork chops, but they're turkey chops. I got you. I've never heard I of that. Some from, yeah, yeah, yeah man, if I did. Right? That's yeah. a thing? Yeah. No, listen to me. How do I get those things? Listen, can I fry it? Yeah, that's an ask him. Delicious. Ask him. Yeah. I, put on, I forgot to put on. Yeah. He Delicious. did. He put me on the turkey chop. It looks like a pork chop, but it's turkey. And, it and just for America know, I got the best turkey wings in America. <laughs> the best. No disrespect to your mothers or your grandmothers or my mother or grandmother, but I am him, the turkey man. He's been telling me about these damn turkey wings. Is this shit true? It's true. He's been telling me about these things. It's true. He curries them. He mushrooms them. He bakes them. He's there. It's delicious. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. Hold up. You They're see delicious. me, and you see about the turkeys. They start saying, "What for? Is what?" Get the turkey is over with. I mean, you won't be upset. You must say, "Yo, you know what? Kill that apple turkey over there too." Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be setting traps. He went that way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Screw that. I tell you, pick a day, whatever. I'm gonna pick. But I'm gonna have to cook a bunch. If I cook for you, everybody's gonna say, "That's Yo, a you fact." Can cook for Jack. That's, That's a fact. On. You coming through? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm known bass as turkey wings though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is it gonna be like mac and cheese or something with it? Is it whatever you want, man? I like mac and cheese. Is that good to go with his turkey wings? I haven't had them. I don't know. I don't like I don't like mac and cheese with greasy meat. Ah, how about collard mm-hmm. greens? That's good. I love collard greens. Mm-hmm. Well, my meat is not greasy. Olive oil is not grease. It's grease. grease <laughs> olive <meat>. oil. <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> I mean, it comes from the olive. And it's oil, which is a grease. <laughs> Everything produces grease. You do know that, right? Okay. All right, so... Out of all, is the most healthiest that you can eat. That and peanut oil. Peanut is, oil is bad for you, though. Too much of it is bad. Somebody can have too peanut allergies. Is, Somebody can have peanut allergies. Too much of anything is bad for you. Too much water is bad for you. It'll give you diarrhea. I've never heard of nobody being allergic to olives, though. Olives? Yeah. Of course. You're talking about peanuts olives. and olives. Nah. Really? I never heard of There's people allergic to everything. There's something somebody's allergic to it. Something. They got those people that gotta live in them 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 um bubbles. plastic bubbles. They're allergic to the world. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. air, and then I thought about them people. They're allergic to treat everything. They need just allergic to oxygen. Some people are really allergic to this stuff. You bring them outside, and they they they, they break down. Mm-hmm. They order me. They order have that order me. I think his point is is that he's making it in an olive oil. You an olive oil is the best oil he could be making. Yeah, because it's but healthy it's, for you. I just and don't, she's just a contrarian. Everything I'm you say, she's just going to say. Thank you. That's not thank true. You. He said, should it go with macaroni and cheese? I said, I, me. You don't like greasy food. I don't like macaroni and cheese with greasy food, like big stuff. Like, 
oxtail, like stew. <coughs> I don't think macaroni and cheese needs to go with dry stuff. Like fried. bottom line, what she trying to tell you with Jack? She laid my turkey wing. <laughs> <laughs> and arguing apparently. So you know, shout out to you. If that's your now, oh, no. That's shout okay. out to you. What? I say at arguing. That's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got to get ready to go out. Is there anything that you want to uh, leave out just with vaccine? Um, do you want to leave out with, especially with vaccinations? Please vaccinate your kids, guys. Please, it's it's, it's important. Well, it's for the community, for for everybody well, around. Done. Some people don't think so, but it's 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 really and it's a responsible thing to do. Vaccinate your kids. Vaccine vaccines is definitely the way to go. Yes. Even if you get the bad vaccines. Person. So say it does does not mean that they're bad vaccines. You're mm-hmm. saying that. Okay. So we'll revisit that some other time okay. about the vaccines well, being separated. Well, I know a hundred thousand people die off of it, and then they find out that the um the paylot was the good vaccine, and it was giving us um diseases, high blood pressure, so on and so forth. But these vaccines. I st- the diseases and the high blood pressure and stuff like that is coming from our food, like we just discussed. That's <laughs> what I believe. I don't think it's coming from the vaccines. I just think that people need to be vaccinated because now these diseases are coming back up because mm. people are not vaccinating when they weren't around anymore because people were being vaccinated. Uh, That's my point. I don't believe that though. <clears throat> You're not. People are not going to believe it until they you kids know how start many dying. People I see on diseases. a daily basis. Hey, what's up? What you coming for? I just got my flu shot. I get that 10, 15 times a day from different people, like, so they're getting vac- vaccinated. We just forgot about the measles and the mumps and stuff like that. You know that. why we forgot about it? Because it's been so long. Because people have been getting been vaccinated. vaccinated and they weren't around. Yeah. Nobody's worried about smallpox. But, Nobody's but, worried but about polio. Because it's not it's around not anymore. It's not us doing that. The government stopped producing these vaccines because they thought that whatever it was wasn't, you know, wasn't relevant no more. So it's not that people not being Hold on. vaccinated. It wasn't. It wasn't the focus for that particular disease. They felt like it, it, was, it, was, it was. It was outdated. Let me interject on. something real quick. Polio doesn't even exist anymore. In order for polio outbreak to happen, somebody literally has to go to one of these places where they hold the polio vaccine to, or whatever the hell at the polio virus at, like and introduce that into the society. At least. That's the information that I've been getting for the last couple of... The, it do, it's not... Polio isn't something that just exists out in the world no more. It's not like freaking, the, I don't know, poison ivy. Somebody brushes up against a tree and like, oh, man, my legs. Then, that's not happening. And then that's, this, like, this is a damn, this is a, Wait, hold on. Am I wrong? No, you're no, right. You're, not wrong. you're 100% right. I, I didn't hear that. You, I said you're not wrong. Okay. okay. That's what I want to say, right? <laughs> she said something in the beginning about the doctor who... Who lost his license, right? Mm-hmm. The government and these and, and these companies are no different. How do I continue to you know make money? How do I continue to do what I do when you have let's just say hypothetical, let's just use a random company, Procter and Gamble doing X Y Z. Mm. How do I become a giant? How do That's I get through? I know how to do it. In order to sell my drugs, we're going to bring the measles back. And I'm going to be the first to cure it. I'm going to be the first to come with that drug or that pill or that, you know, that liquid, that, that needle. Would, that would work right? with your theory. In order to sell my new drug. All you got to look at the stop. Before we got here, I did my homework. It's a whole bunch of new drugs on, 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 on the stock market. Now you're saying right? that will work if not for what? If for if, what? It wasn't a known fact that people actually did stop immunizing. It's a known fact. They stopped fact. inoculating. Yes, they. Let me tell you something. Let okay. You something. When we have to, to go out, y'all. When it comes to businesses, corporations, they have people, right, uh, um, that handle analytics. All they do is sit down. Who was the last that said? Well, this happened back in 1929. We haven't seen that since. And sit there's a room, look, it's a think tank, it's a room, and they sit there. You have people like Ab, our friend Ab, not to put your business out there, Ab, I'm putting it out there, <laughs> right? That go through these tanks and actually try drugs. <laughs> that's getting mad money doing that. So you see him, he still do it. He go away for 30 days and they try drugs and medication on him. He's a guinea pig. He's a mm. guinea pig. 
That's terrible. He's a handsome guinea pig too, black boy. Anyway, but at the end of the day, <laughs> that's my nigga though. I love him to death. But at the end of the day, whatever, so he'd be the first thing that now they test all type of stuff. So now, if this new drug hit the market, how do I get it across without having to go through the process? An outbreak. Mm. This is, it hasn't been um, uh, 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 approved by the FDA, but let's see what happens. All right, give me 300 people, bring them aside. They bring them aside, boom, hey, it works. Yeah, this might be a temporary success. They don't know, but hey, it works. So government is like, hey, red tape, boom, 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 because it's hitting home their homes now. Boom, boom, boom. They're using this drug only to find out 10 years later that the drug was a fluke and he just made his money and now he's out the way now. He might even dissolve his company and call it another name by the time he gets through. All those things is possible, but we're going to have to have this discussion on another on, day. On a later day. Because we can talk about this all day. Yes, this, this is definitely uh, this is the type of stuff that we want to discuss on this particular program. We want to talk about things that, that actually affect and involve people lives so we could be so we could be more informed ourselves yeah, and so aware. that we could also inform other people. You don't never know who thinks exactly like us. You know? And right. we don't know who might not have information that we might have that it's important for us to get out there into the ether. Right. Anyway, um like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out.